we have the Don C drops a new colorway for the Jordan Legacy 312. Now, I don't know what Jordan Legacy 312 is. I have no interest in the actual model, but I like the colorway. Um, um, and I, I kind of like what Don C does colorway choices anyway, overall. Again, it's not for me. I think his shoes are a little bit too sneakery. They're probably in the mold of somebody that likes to... It kind of matches his fashion, right? Very um, urban luxe, right? Um, so loads of bright colors, rich materials, and a real focus on quality of craftsmanship and then kind of, you know, bedazzlements and all that sort of malarkey. So maybe not my vibe, right? I'm not going to wear those just on hats and stuff with the leather straps, which I'm sure he's probably made. Like, I would... I would love to. I would love to know how much he's made of those hats. Like it'd be not pocket watching, but I bet he's made a lot of those fucking hats. Remember, they were everywhere at one point, right? The ones with the with the sort of like a snakeskin brim and stuff. And he's now kind of gone into making other bits and pieces, like shorts and vests and stuff. Like really taking you know standard uh, courtroom or court floor. Is it called court floor? Right, court floor apparel in terms of basketball jerseys and shorts. And really elevating them, right? It's sort of like um, it's sort of like a contemporary play on uh basketball jerseys when they used to get worn in hip hop. Do you remember that was a big thing, right? Everyone was wearing jerseys, right? Throwback jerseys. So it's sort of like taking that kind of moniker where people were getting, you know, paying you know crazy amounts of money for jerseys, and he's really elevated it to a kind of luxury feel. And I guess these shoes are an, an, a, a kind of extension of that. This colorway is, is something I'd be a fan of. It's very reminiscent of like a '90s uh tech runner. Or even an 80s tennis shoe for that like mark, like an Agassi or an old school, um, you know, uh, an old school Air Trainer 1. I like the different elements of it. I like the mix of the Jordan 3 heel tab. I like the mix of the kind of, you know, the tra Air Trainer 1's front strap at the front. I like the cement. Um, I like where the bubble placement is, or the assets. It's a nice shoe, to be honest. I quite like it. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with the model, the Legacy 312. I'm not sure what that has to do with the overall, where where that is placed in the actual overall Jordan brand, whether or not that's just a thing of like, you know, Jordan finally bringing in somebody from Kanye's crew to kind of design it, which is ironic, you know, considering uh, Kanye said that lyric about Yeezy jumping over the jump man and, you know, uh, Nike not wanting to give Kanye the same contract that they give athletes because he's not an athlete, right? Right? Because he's a whatever. And now they've suddenly, you know, gone, they've gone, they've kind of doubled back and they've hired basically all of, of Kanye is sort of like um you know kids or proteges in the shape of a Heron Preston, a Virgil, a Matthew Williams. They've all got shoes, right? They've all got kind of collections based around their brands and their personas and stuff. And Kanye couldn't get, couldn't even get an athletes collaboration with them. And I look what he's done. But I think it's worked out in the whole overall pretty well. I think probably the people I mentioned previously are probably more adept at working underneath uh, a Nike structure than maybe a Kanye would. He probably just can't work under that no i wouldn't say restraints but you know working within some kind of level of restraints i think these guys probably are better at playing the game than kanye so that probably what results in this overall sure but I, I quite like it man i like it i know some people in the comments didn't like it look at the hypebeast comments but you know hypebeast comments people don't like many things but i like I quite like the shoe and again for someone with a wide foot like myself i think this jordan legacy 312 would probably be a good fit again would i wear it too often probably not it's gonna be a shoe you buy it's like a footscape right you have the the sole intention of wearing that footscape you like how it looks you saw a picture of some small japanese kid somewhere wearing wearing footscape to make him look fucking insane right dripping drip was insane and you you try and put you try and swag them with your fucking unico jeans and all of a sudden it doesn't look quite it doesn't hit the same right and you wonder why <laughs> number one you're not five foot two number two you're not wearing 700 quid denim and number three you just don't look good on sizes you know seven and above maybe i'd say right and also sports games have that weird thing where they only look good when you look down on them as soon as you look for the side they just look like trash is it me i don't know i just don't like the way they look off for the side they look weird uh but yeah jordan legacy 312 I'm a, I'm a fan of it i like the shoe uh check it out when did you to come out it's due to come out on the first so it's out today it should be out it was out yesterday so yeah check it out 130 dollars though Oof. it's a lot in it for that kind of shoe 130. I'd pay me, me I'd pay maximum a one or 90 quid, but not 130. Shit, I didn't know it was that much. But I guess because it's got the Don C cosign on it. Does it have Don? Is it even a Don C shoe? Yeah, it is. It's just on a, a Jordan Legacy 312. There's no, there's no, because I'd imagine if you're that kind of sneaker person, you'd want some clear labeling that it was a Don C. Oh, yeah, it is. It says it here on the tongue, on the, sorry, on the, on the tongue there. Okay, cool. That might make it worth it, right? <laughs> that little label there. It's sad I'm saying it, but honestly, it's the truth. Some singers will think that. It's like, why would you want to wear a collaboration shoe if it doesn't look like a collaboration shoe, right? You want something to say it looks like a collaboration shoe. Um, but yeah, check that out. It's available.